What is up YouTube, Invader51 back again. Um, in this video, I am going to be showing you guys how to download music directly from Pandora Radio. Um, for the newbies out there, if you don't know what Pandora is, it is this. It's actually just um, internet radio. So what it does, it, it's, it's, uh, it streams music you know, in, in a random order. Um, depending on your preferences so like for example I like electronic music like techno uh, I would type in Benny Benassi and it would make a custom channel for me um, with Benny Benassi uh, Benny Benassi songs and any other songs and artists um, of that same genre or similar genres um, it's actually pretty cool uh, the only problem with Pandora is that it um, it has a lot of advertisements and um, you could only skip a certain oops sorry guys a certain amount of songs um, within every hour I think I think it's seven or something like that. But uh, what I'm going to be showing you guys today is a hack that allows you to download music from from this app, and it'll also bypass that whole advertisement and skipping stuff. Really cool stuff. So uh, let's get started. So first step, you want to have Pandora. If you have it, great. But uh, just bear with me because there are some people out there that don't don't really know how to do anything and that is okay that is the audience that I'm kind of aimed at more um, I do want to include them into my tutorials you know so I want to make it as foolproof as possible so just bear with me you guys so you want to go to the app store and download Pandora you type in Pandora you search it it'll be the very first one um, so it's this you could open it, you could go ahead and read all the details, blah blah blah. Uh, mine says open because I already have it. Yours should say install if you don't have it. You go ahead and install it. And you will be given Pandora. Alright. Okay. Well, now that we're done with that, you want to go to Cydia. Now, obviously, you do have to be jailbroken for this. I've seen people ask, you know, an obvious question. The dude's using in this video, you know, Cydia, and then people are like, do you need to be jailbroken? It's like, if you have Cydia, if you have to use Cydia, yes, you do have to be jailbroken. Because that is the only way to get Cydia. Um, well, I mean, it's not the only way, but whatever. You pros understand what I'm saying. Anyway. Um you want to go to you could try searching it as you can see I've already tried searching it here um, you should have some if you don't like if you don't really have repos in like a lot of good repos on your uh, Cydia you might not have any but um, that's okay because I'm gonna give you guys a repo in a sec um, I usually have all my stuff from sinful iPhone you guys will see in later videos but uh, it, this one's at 3.2. It's a little outdated. I don't know why they haven't updated it. Um, see, this one is at 3.2 also. This one from Exalize, it's at 3.3, which is almost up to date. This is the version I had. I actually just updated my thing like 20, 30 minutes ago. Um, this is the one I have here. So it's at 3.4. I'm not exactly sure. When it was released, it was released like within the last 24 hours, I believe. If not longer, not yeah, I'm exaggerating. It's probably a little, little more than that. But um, anyway, point is, I have it from this repo because it's updated. So obviously, I'm not gonna give you guys, you know, repo where you're gonna get outdated stuff. They will update it eventually, but um, you know. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to go to manage in, this, in the bottom uh, tab. You want to tap.
tap on edit top right add top left and it's you want to type in repo dot insanely I dot com and you want to tap on add source give it a sec and right here you will be giving this source warning um, if you're a goody two-shoes or you're scared you go ahead and click cancel um, if you don't mind joining the pirate crew you go ahead and uh, you go ahead and tap anyway I mean add anyway sorry guys it is as you can see in my clock uh, you know four in the morning I'm pretty tired uh, so sorry if I'm slurring a little but anyway once you add that you will have insanely I repository in this repository you want to go down to P and you want to look for Pandora downloader you guys will see Pandora skip hacks and stuff do not download any of these um, don't worry about them this Pandora downloader it has everything built in it's it's almost perfect it's awesome and I'll give you guys a demo in a bit but um, yeah you go ahead and download that um, yeah you can see it requires Pandora from App Store. We already went through that. Alright. So once you guys have that, you will be giving this icon. Giving the given. Sorry. This icon right here, downloader. It looks like the uh Apple App Store, but it's a P instead of an A. Um so you guys want to go ahead and tap on that to set that up. As you can see, I've already downloaded a few songs. But um you wanna on the bottom tabs, you wanna tap on more. You want to go to settings, and by default, most of these will be turned off, um, unless you have, you know, personal reasons you wouldn't want to turn one of these on. I would turn them all on. Uh, you, you know, no banners, no ads, no monthly limit, unlimited, unlimited. You know, awesome. Pandora One, that is a paid service for Pandora. Um, I believe it's three or four dollars a month. Um, and it just gives you little perks like, uh, like I think like more skips or something, or maybe unlimited skips. I'm not sure. Uh, it lowers advertisements from what I read. It doesn't really completely get rid of your advertisements. It'll just, you know, reduce the amount that you receive. But, uh, if you turn it on, then you will have that paid service for free. If it's free, it's for me. Um, so yeah, you know all of that good stuff turn it all on um, so these settings this update library I'm not exactly sure what that is if you guys know what it is uh, go ahead and leave that in the comment section um, I'm not a noob but I'm not a pro I'm like intermediate so uh, it says you know tap it when your iPod music library is out of sync I do not know what it means by that um, I I import my music using another app directly into my uh, into my iPod app so uh, you know I don't know what it means by out of sync um, I'll, I'll do a video my next video actually it'll be on how to do this so uh, it'll make your your iDevice pretty much uh, independent from a computer when it comes to media um, you'll never need to use iTunes again and especially uh, you know um, <clears throat> combined with this app downloader um, it's awesome because you know you'll download music put it directly into your music app it's awesome stuff anyway this will this is just a bunch of options but oh, the one I do want to just explain a little is this one redirect to Pandora um so what happens is if you have you open up Pandora you download the song um, when you do that it'll just take you to this app right here to this page and it'll show you the song downloading and that's it you would have to manually you know get out of the app and go back to your Pandora but uh, if you if you have this setting on um, what will happen is in Pandora when you choose to download a song um, it'll close Pandora open this start downloading and then automatically open up Pandora again and I'll show you guys in a bit.
but uh you know with this off what you would do is you know you're in this page here you have to you know click your home button look for Pandora which is here tap on Pandora and there you go you know so instead of that I will show you guys uh, I'm not having this play because if it plays uh, it'll um my uh, display recorder will automatically stop recording audio so yeah but uh, anyway you tap on this and then you tap on save song see that so it just takes me back to the page I was in so uh, that's pretty convenient if you don't like that you could go ahead and have it off that's just personal preference there you go see that I, I think that's the second time I downloaded it was it get down there yeah. see there's two get downs right there um but yeah you guys saw it it's it's actually really fast um well actually it might be my internet my 3g uh, I'm not sure but um yeah pretty simple and that's really all there's to it you go ahead and tap it and it'll start playing like your uh, music app but I do have a tip for you guys um, on Pandora if you go back here and you go to settings on the settings tab right here you go to advanced this part here you, you if if you want higher quality on your downloads you have this on um, it rips it downloader rips it directly from Pandora so if you have this off then um, you know you'll download the lower quality audio so if you want you know better quality audio you go ahead and uh, turn that on and your music will sound better um, it said it might skip more often but you know what my 3G is fine um, if you have you know good coverage or good good uh, 3G service or I mean, it doesn't have to be you know it could be 2G but uh, it, it, it won't skip it's fine um, especially if you have Wi-Fi you'll be fine but um, yeah you it, pretty simple stuff so that's a tip for you guys just in case you know you want better quality audio uh, that's pretty much it um, on my next vid I will show you guys how to import all those downloaded songs directly into your uh, music app mm. and it, it won't be just from downloader it'll also be from any any app it could be directly from your email app it'll be a, a I file um, cool stuff um, so yeah you guys remember to uh, leave your uh, questions and requests in the comment section um, as always that is more than welcome so don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I will teach you guys more stuff later peace